Welcome back to Inside Healthcare. We thought you might like to know about a program that optimizes well-being for people as they age. It's called Trellis, and they have an upcoming statewide summit called Dementia Friendly Communities. To tell us all about it, we're pleased to have with us Amanda Biggis, a community outreach specialist with Trellis. So thank you for being with us. It's the first time on the show, so thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me today. First question, what is Trellis all about, and what, what kind of programs do you provide? Yeah. Trellis is a nonprofit organization, and we serve older adults and caregivers with programs and services uh, that help people age well, basically. Uh, so we are the area agency on aging for the seven county metro area. And as you said, our main goal is to help people optimize well-being as they age. So um, what that means, um, you know, is basically just providing resources and support for people in the community. And we do that in a variety of different ways. So we have many different programs. And one of those programs is the Senior Linkage Line. I've and heard of it. Yes, yeah, I'm glad you have, yes. Yeah. Um, the Senior Linkage Line is a statewide service of the Minnesota Board on Aging. And it's a free information and assistance line. So um, older adults, uh, family, caregivers, anybody can call the Senior Linkage Line. Um, I get the question very often, how old do you have to be to call the I Senior Linkage Line? I was going to ask line? you that question, yes. yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, there's no age limit. So anybody can call the Senior Linkage Line, uh, whether you're calling uh, for yourself or on behalf of a parent or a grandparent. Uh, we sometimes even have organizations that uh, call on behalf of somebody that they serve in the community. Uh, so it's an uh, information line, and our specialists on the line are available Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. to answer questions or uh, give resources on so all things. Oh, I was going to ask, yeah. what kinds of things? Yeah, Yeah. so all things related to aging, um, Medicare help, uh, financial assistance, transportation options, um, housing assistance, um, you know, caregiver support. So, uh, you know, if you're somebody who's taking care of a loved one, you can call the Senior Linkage Line uh, if you're looking for respite or a support group. Uh, so uh, basically, all things related to aging. Um, and I think last year, in 2020, we had almost 100,000 uh, points of contact with older wow. adults and caregivers through the Senior Linkage Line. Wow. So it, it really is a great, that's a really a good program. community service in that. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I had mentioned also that you have an upcoming a summit on dementia-friendly communities. Yes, yeah, so that's through our Act on Alzheimer's program. Uh, and through the Act on Alzheimer's program, we enable people in their community to become more dementia-friendly. Um, so basically, you know, we know that people with dementia can have a high quality of life, but we need to do the work in the community to make sure that um, you know, our dental offices, our airports, um, you know, the bank, the grocery stores, those places are dementia friendly. Be able to identify signs of dementia um, and know how to communicate with somebody uh, to help them have a good experience and, and thrive in their community. Well, what um, would those kinds of things be? Like, let's say, um, you know, you have an aging parent. I mean, how can you tell that um, maybe they're slowing down a little bit, but how can you tell, like, if there's um, a dementia thing that needs, you know, how to make it friendly, how to, mm. so that they don't um, get agitated and things like that if they're out about, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are a part of normal aging, um, but when we see things that aren't quite typical of normal aging, that's when, uh, you know, we'd recommend uh, going to see a doctor, you know, maybe, a part of normal aging would be, you know, you forget where you put your keys. We all forget where we put our keys. <laughs> but eventually, we can kind of backtrack and find where we put those keys. Uh, with, with dementia or Alzheimer's, um, you know, it's forgetting things like, um, you know, you're, you're driving to your house and you forget where you live. Um, you wow. know, or you forget that um, you had an appointment with a friend and the friend comes to pick you up and and they say, what are you doing here? Uh, so it's things like that that aren't um, a normal part of aging that you want to look into um, dementia. So what type of help is available through the organizations in that to someone that may be facing something like that? 
Yeah, well, through our Act on Alzheimer's program, we do have Dementia Friends Minnesota, which is an information session that anybody in Minnesota can attend. Um, and then, uh, as you mentioned, we do have the statewide summit coming up mm -hmm. on October 7th. Um, and that's going to shine a light on all of the really great work that's been done to make Minnesota more dementia friendly uh, over the past year, despite the challenges of the pandemic. Um, it's been very difficult. I, I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. It's been difficult for anyone, but especially for someone with dementia. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're really just, um, you know, we're going to be talking about new initiatives. Um, like I mentioned, the, the dental offices, there's training being done from the uh, front desk staff to the hygienist to the dentist all to make that experience much more dementia friendly um, so kind of these really invasive um, you know, scary experiences for somebody with dementia turning in, into a positive experience for them and, and you said this is a free statewide summit and it'll yes. be virtual yes it and is anyone a virtual, can participate anyone can participate yes so um, caregivers professionals um, students uh, and you can register on our website, trellisconnects.org. Um, and uh, that's on our homepage of the website. It's right there to find out more information and to register. And um, it really is for anyone. Yes, yeah, yeah, anybody can attend. And again, the date and the time? It's October 7th. Um, I, I believe it's a, an all day uh, event. It might start at 9 a.m., but I'm not quite sure on that time. But October 7th is the date. So why is it important to have trellis? I mean, in our you know, in our state and stuff like, what is it all about? Why do we need that? Yeah, well, trellis is an innovator and thought leader in the field of aging. You know, we are striving to meet challenges and opportunities um, of an aging population, and you know, we're doing this through partnerships and through programs, and you know, we know that people age 65 and older uh, are. The population is growing at a, a pretty rapid rate. Um, you know, there's 890,000 Minnesotans who are 65 and older. Are they really? Yes, and 70% of that population is in the Twin Cities metro area. So, you know, as you can imagine, you know, that number is is quickly surpassing school-age children. You know, it always was. You know, the population of school-age children was our largest population, mm -hmm. and now, you know, that. Um, that group, 65 and older, is growing, and understandably, I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, it's it's putting a, a strain on aging services. Um, you know, the resources and supports of aging services, um, and Trellis is is really striving to bridge that gap between healthcare and social care. Um, you know, we know that aging is not a one size fits all solution. Mm -hmm. You know, there's many different things that um, you know somebody can define as aging well. Uh, one thing that works for somebody might not work for somebody else. Um, so we know that, um, you know, things like access to good health care, being able to pay rent, having food available, those are all very important things. Uh, but we also know that things like um, social connectedness and life enrichment activities, those are also very important. Absolutely, yes. I, I really noticed that, especially during COVID. We are just about out of time. Quickly, if someone wants more information about Trellis, about the summit, Again, how could they get that information? Yeah, they can um, contact us at our website, trellisconnects.org. That's where you can register for that uh, community summit. And then, um, you know, all things, all questions related to aging, I always bring it back to the senior linkage line. So call the senior linkage line. That number is 800-333-2433. Well, Amanda, a pleasure to have you on the show and great Good. information. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be back with more right after this.